Hi everyone, Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Happy Saturday, coming at you with 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box, pick your team number five from JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We've got a big, nice little giveaway here at the end. You saw the details right there, so we're gonna give away some money at the end of the break and hopefully pull some nice stuff out of here as well. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action. Pick your team five, eight, eight, 2020. John with that double last spot mojo, Phillies and Cardinals. So thanks to him for finishing this off, and thanks everybody else for getting in as well. We really appreciate that. All right, let's bust this baby open. Let's see what we got. We've been pulling some nice stuff out of here, ladies and gentlemen. So settle in for the next hour if you're watching live. I guess if you're watching the replay, you could just fast forward to the end for the recap. boxes right on top of each other so there's a stack of four right there you can see on the top camera right there as well and a stack of four right there all right we're looking at five autographs a box on average for these uh, jumbo boxes which are really nice maybe a little bit easier to, to open as well breaks a little bit more quickly and a little, little more action because of the five autographs per box uh, not seen a Pete Alonso auto yet. I think those vet autos got it. They have to be, you know, fewer and far between. But who knows? Let's see. We'll find out. My Dodgers hosting the Giants in LA. Top of the ninth, and the Giants are up 5 4 with a runner on first, two outs. I don't know who's coming up in the bottom of the inning, but we'll see. Copy for hire is saying good luck to the Crow. Yeah, Eric Crow with the Yankees. That's a pretty big team there. Are there Yasons in here? Are there Jason Dominguez in this checklist? I'm assuming yes. No Dominguez in here, okay. There must be some other guys in here. All right, as you know, Vet Commons won't ship, but Rookie Cards will ship, right? Brandon McKay will ship to EA and the Tampa Bay Rays. One oh eight out of four ninety nine on that refractor. Is there? There's a little bit of top loader dust right there, but I got it. Nice. Two-way player. Supposed to be pretty good. Jorge Soler is a refractor, so yes, that will ship. Aquino, it's a rookie and an insert, so it'll ship anyway. Nice for the Reds. And for in the interest of time, we're just going to sleeve those, and those will be top-loaded later. Ooh, nice Kyle Lewis prism refractor. Joe Kelly gets him out. Who's coming up? Oh, sorry, I didn't. I, Joe Davis, say it again. Missed it. Kyle Lewis, Prism Refractor for the M's. Mark Bissett, he's been playing some good ball today. Luis Robert also living up to the hype for the White Sox. Matthew Shira. And Bo Bichette. As I actually don't know how Bo Bichette's doing these days. How, how's Bo Bichette doing? There's Randy Johnson die cut. There you go. And Jake Rogers, rookie autograph for Steve Locke and the Tigers. There you go, Steve. Corey Seager, a little lower back issue. I'm concerned about it. Aristides Aquino for EA and the Reds. In case I miss any, all of those rookie cards will ship. 
We've got the negative, photonegative refractor parallel. Uh, for the Padres, Manny Machado, Capola with that. I did not see that collision, Tyler Brenner. In the Tigers game, they carted off the first baseman for the Pirates. Who was playing first? Isn't that usually Josh Bell, maybe? And we got a Nico Horner autograph, Peter Elias and the Cubs. Big prospect for the Cubbies. And on the south side, you got this guy too, Luis Robert. Matthew Shiro with this one. Wasn't Bell Phillips, maybe? Eesh. We got Joe Palumbo. We've got a Joe Palumbo that shops with us. I'm pretty sure they're the same person. I don't think they are, but I'd like to think so. That's Steve Locke and the Rangers. Oh, we got Bellinger up, huh? Bellinger leading off. Bellinger, Turner, and Muncie. All right, nice. Let's go, Dodgers. Got a Mark McGuire die cut. A long fly to center. That Those are for sacrifice flies, Cody. He's been struggling to start the season. All right, Justin Turner, you can do it. Justin Turner turned down for what is his walk-up? I get it, Justin. I see you. Tyler Glass now, 74 out of 99. Green wave. For the Rays. That's another one for EA. It's a nice, nice pitch. And Logan Allen, rookie autograph for the Tribe. Oh, was there? Yeah, those will ship. All of those will ship. I'm sure there'll be a few more. I'll set those aside next time I see them. Logan Allen, Tribe, Mark Bissett, Indians. I think that I think there's one relic per case. It seems like there's one or two relics per case, Patrick. I think that I think those act as the case hits in this. Turner working it to three and two. Bottom of the ninth. Dodgers down a run. Just one out on a Cody Bellinger fly out. Jim Gott on the mound. Not Jim Gott. Trevor Gott. I don't know if they're related. You guys remember Jim Gott? Ooh, he walks him. All right, I like that. And we've got Jalen Davis. Rookie autograph for the Giants, Coppola. 
221 out of 250 on that one. Five balls in a row. He's getting nervous. Hank Aaron die cut. For the Braves. And a Maurizio Dubon. Speaking of the Giants, I Capola with a Giants auto. Got an orange Andrew Benintendi. Five out of 25. Red Sox. Brandon. Brandon M. With the Sox of the Red. The Bo Sox. Jordan Alvarez, rookie for Matt D. And an Aristides Aquino rookie autograph for EA Sports it's in the game. Cincinnati Reds. I feel like you've been having a pretty decent week here, EA. Nice. At least getting some hits and some breaks. There you go, man. I think he'll be fine once the... Things get back to normal. I feel like he'll be a constant fixture fixture with the Reds next year. Looks like a Diamondbacks autograph coming up. It's Zach Gallon, Andy O, with the Arizona D backs, the Snakes. He's a pretty big prospect for the Diamondbacks. Come on, Max. Oh, pops it up. <laughs> I love, it's not national, so this is cable TV, this is the LA Dodger Sports Network, so they don't, they don't bleep out the curse words, you can, you, some of you may have heard Max Muncy be like, F, I won't say, it. it's a family show, I'll let Max say it though. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not happy. Mark was set with the Mariners, Kyle Lewis. All right, so now suddenly the Dodgers now have two outs. A.J. Pollock with a man on. What are you going to do, A.J.? Oh, now he's throwing strikes. Bren Lau, 98 out of 99 for EA and the Rays. Nice 85, Kyle Lewis. Oh, ooh, that sled looked good off the bat, but the warning track power, three outs, game over. It looked good off the bat, but didn't sound good, so. Maybe kind of dies in the, uh, at night. A little more, a little extra moisture in the air at night. There's Sheldon Nussi, rookie auto for the A's. Eric J with the A's. Let's pop the next box open.
Take a look around the league. Must be some late games wrapping up. Dodgers just lost 5-4 in LA. In Tampa Bay, I think game one, Yankees beat the Rays 8-4. In Chicago, Indians beat the White Sox 7-1. Tigers at Pirates. Tigers win 11-5. Pounding out 16 hits. In Oakland, A's beat the Astros 3-1. In D.C., Nationals fell to the Orioles 3-5. Orioles are 7-7, seven seven, by the way. Nationals are 4-7. Braves got shut out in Philadelphia, 5-0. Rangers shut out the Angels, 2-0. Royals um, beat the Twins, 9-6. Marlins are seven and two. They lost today, though, but they're 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 looking good thus far. Uh, Mets eight, Marlins four. Reds beat the Brewers four one. Blue Jays edged out the Red Sox two one in Boston. Uh, Anthony K with the win. We've seen some Anthony K stuff in this set right here for the Blue Jays. He's got a, he's sporting a one and zero record and a one one three ERA. So something else to look forward to. Nick to Kramer. Rockies, what did they do? Did they shut out the yeah shut out the Mariners five nothing? Diamondbacks edged out the Padres three two. There's Aaron Saval right there. Second game, the Rays beat the Yankees five three. And there you go. There's your there's your scoreboard for Saturday August eighth, twenty twenty. Strange COVID times. Aaron Saval, Indians. That'll be for Mark Bissett, rookie autograph. Luis Robert, all of those will go to Matthew Shira, even the ones I accidentally miss. There's Anthony K right there. Ted Williams, die cut. Another Jordan rookie card, Dom Nunez. Rookie auto for the Rocks. Manuel Garza with that. There you go, Garza. Rockies have been playing some good good baseball lately. He shot out the Mariners 5 0 in Seattle. They one hit the Mariners in Seattle. Abraham Toro, Blue Wave, 36 out of 75 for Matt D. And the Strohs. And Jordan Alvarez autograph. Check that out, Matt. There you go. Matthew Didier with the Houston Astros. Rookie autograph, Jordan Alvarez, and a refractor. 466 out of 499. Former Dodger prospect, I want to say. There you go. Nice. What's up, Ricky? How, how happy do you think Rockies pitchers get when they start on the road? He must be really happy, I guess. But they've been playing well at home, too. They're 11 and 3. There's Michael Brousseau, Rays, EA with the Rays. So something's, something's clicking there with the Rocks. I like Edwin Rios, too. I'll save one of these. All these will ship anyway. But. Mike Trout die cut. Gavin Lux, 85. 
He's been he's been hitting a lot better lately. We saw a stat that Edwin Rios home runs per at bat is better than Babe Ruth. Yeah, he, I mean he he can he can definitely hit it. That's for sure. I think he doesn't have a position, so that's why he's not he hasn't been up earlier. One thirty two at one fifty. So I think they're trying to find places to to hide his glove a little bit so they can get his bat into the lineup. The Sam Hilliard to one fifty. So. But yeah, he can he can definitely swing it. There's Jacob Wagespack for Nick DeKramer and the Blue Jays. If the universal DH happens, Ricky, I think I think that will benefit players like uh, that will definitely benefit players like Edwin Rios. I don't know who DH for the Dodgers today. Jock Peterson DH today. No Rios in the lineup. Jock, Jock went 0 for 3 with a walk. I think the DH kind of changes every day depending on, on the opponent. Ricky Holbert's Lux PC hopes that he gets called up. I don't know. Lux had a weird start this year. I, he came he came to camp late to the to the summer spring training camp. Summer spring training? Spring training 2.0. He came he arrived late. Now the news I wasn't really able to figure out why. I don't know if it was he was just late or if it was COVID related or or, or whatever it was. Not sure. They, that story might have been revealed, but maybe I missed it. But I'm not sure what happened. So, and then during the exhibition games, the scrimmage games, he just looked a little rusty. wasn't quite quite getting where he needed to be. You know, so I don't know what I don't know what's going on. But uh, but they were just like, well, and Dodgers have so much depth that they, they didn't have to force him to be into the lineup or rely on him too much. There's TJ Zook, blue. But it's a weird season anyway. I'm Gavin Lux, I think the first, I guess, knock on wood, but first injury or whatever that happens for the Dodgers. There's TJ Zook, 42 out of 150. Nick. I think first sign of that, I think he'll, he'll be one of the first people that'll get, that'll get called up. Yeah, there was a little yippiness happening too defensively. I think I think it just sounds like to me that he was just pressing. You know, that he just kinda kinda got in late and then was like, Okay, 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 let me make up for it really quick and let me rush everything and let me speed everything up. So I, I think that's what it's that's what it kinda sounded like. He's like, I gotta make I I gotta be everyday second baseman now, let's go. These are the pieces of the die cut right here. So I think that's kind of what got him. I, I also heard that he kind of has a – this is Ricky Henderson, the man of steel die cut – that he kind of has a sort of a complicated swing or a swing that maybe needs a little, a little more time to get warmed up. So I think that just wasn't clicking early on either. I think he just, he just was like a week behind everybody. Another TJ Zoo. T-starring your TJ Zook PC, Nick Kramer. I don't know about attitude issues. What have we heard about that? What have you heard about that, Ricky? I think there was an article that said he was late to camp. But I, I think that, I think someone, I think people have re-picked that up as he was late to camp, like daily. I think he was just late to the beginning of camp for whatever reason. But I don't know. I mean... 
I don't know if there was anything else specific that came out of that, but nice Adalberto Mondesi, and Luis Robert, 85. Or I don't know, maybe he was just feeling himself. He was just like, I'm Gavin Lux, every day starting second baseman for the Dodgers, and he's feeling himself a little bit. That was a Alberto Mondesi for the Royals. That'll be for Jarrell Taylor. Maybe he was just like, I'm the man now. You know, I won the batting title in the Texas League. There he is right there. I guess he is pretty young. Verdugo had the same issues. If, if, if those attitude issues are to be believed for Gavin Lux. Verdugo did have, certainly did have attitude issues. Not attitude issues, but Verdugo is a very social guy. Let's put it that way. He was going out a lot. You can see a lot of his, a lot of his Instagram was like party pics and stuff like that at clubs and everything. So I think he liked that lifestyle a little too much, which doesn't really jive with the, with the Dodgers who are looking to win championships, you know. So I think I think he I think Verdugo could have been called up a year earlier, but I think they had he had a nice talking to. They're like you're a great player if you want to take this seriously, blah 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 blah. It's Peter with the Cubs, but I think he got it together. He finally got it together, and was playing pretty well. And I mean maybe a little too well because he was a big piece of that that Mookie Betts deal. And obviously, can't really pass Mookie Betts. It's Tim Lopes. Uh, for Mark Bissett and the Mariners, rookie auto. Willie Mays die cut. Ooh, Kershaw giving very short answers. He's not happy with his performance. Four and a third, seven hits, four earned runs, a walk, and six strikeouts, 85 pitches total. I don't know. I don't know what to believe when it comes to stuff like that, Ricky. Did the Dodgers really make a legitimate offer to the Indians for Lindor before the Mookie deal? Don't know. It's a two ninety nine Matt Boyd Tigers Steve Locke. I mean, I I think they were maybe wanting to upgrade that shortstop position. So, I believe that that I believe that tires were kicked. You know, phone calls were made. How serious the, that conversation went, I don't know. But I mean, if you're a GM, you got to make a call or two, right? But yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe someone asked for too much, or someone was offering too little. Ooh, I don't know if May and Lux. I think I'll bet that's what the Indians asked. I'll bet the tribes were, were just like, so Dustin May, Gavin Lux, starting point for Lindor. And the Dodgers are like, no. Cardinals, that's going to be for John McCall. Last spot Mojo on the Junior Fernandez autograph. But I think, I think they weren't in a rush to move this guy, though. I think they, if they could improve, maybe they thought so. But I don't think they were like aggressively making that move. But we'll see. Corey Seager does have injury issues. A couple hip surgeries a couple years ago on each side, I think. And then and then he got he took himself out of the game last night or last night, two nights ago because of a lower back issue, which if anybody has back issues, you know like you know right away whether you can actually do any activity or not. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, what did Lindor? I'll bet they would have offered like Alex Verdugo. Maybe not the Alex Verdugo Jeter Downs. I think I mean Alex, 
I don't think Lindor was going to get the same package as, as Mookie Betts, that's for sure. But Dodgers do have a lot of outfielders, so I think I think they would have definitely moved, um, definitely moved uh, an outfielder like Verdugo to try to get someone like Lindor to improve that or solidify that middle infield area. Or maybe like Corey Seager in like a second tier prospect or something like that. Might have been something. Or maybe another pitcher comes back in return or something like that. I think they were looking at Clevenger actually. I think the deal, I think, I mean, again, these are all just rumors. You know, who knows what the, what the real deal was. But I feel like they were looking to improve. Another Brendan McKay for EA. I think they wanted to, to get an upgrade on Seager in case his injuries were, or whatever would linger. It kind of has. I think they want to add to the rotation too. So I think they were looking at like a Lindor Clevenger's kind of deal. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that. I like a lot of the Indian starters. So I think they were just like, hey, you know, if if uh, if it was like Lindor Clevenger, you know, maybe then we start talking Verdugo and Lux or Verdugo and Dustin May or something like that. Maybe a couple other players. I mean, that would have been a big deal. Mariano Rivera, die cut. Luis Robert. Yeah, and Dustin May, He does, like, like you were saying, he does have that... Dustin May had, does have that Chris Sale kind of, kind of height and length, that lankiness. There's Luis Robert, White Sox, Matthew Shira. And, I mean, if you, if you saw, I think, Pitching Ninja... Is that Rob Sh Rob's something? Maybe an old ESPN writer or something like that does it? Another one for EA. Colin Posh autograph for the Rays. Um, but but Dustin May had that two seam. Or yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Luis Robert Prism Refractor. That's nice. Matthew Shear. I think it's the first one I've seen. Nice one. But yeah, that two-seamer from Dustin May was ridiculous. I mean, it's like a 90-plus mile-per-hour two-seam fastball. So it's sinking and tailing into like a righty. That's just stupid. Marcus Simeon to 299, Oakland A's, Eric J. Like, if that's the strike zone, right? I mean, this this starts, and he's tall, too. So he's tall and on a mound, right? So imagine where that sinker comes from. And it probably starts up here and dives down to, it was Machado, I think, was at bat. Dives down to the bottom inside right inside corner right here. Machado is standing, and he was just like, what the F? And at 90 miles per hour? 90 plus, 93, 94? Miles per hour, it's a lot, really fast. <laughs> Travis Demerit for the uh, Tigers, Steve Locke for the Tigers. To 250, 99 miles per hour, it's even more ridiculous. What was the, who was the photo variation, Tyler Brenner? Our shipping team will be looking at the, the codes on the back to make sure, or the numbers on the back to make sure we get all those. There's Alex Young. That goes to Andy Owens and the Diamondbacks. And, he, and, and Dustin May is a cutter, too. That goes in and then goes in on lefties and away from righties. I mean, Dustin May needs a little more marinating. You know what I mean? He just needs more, just more innings, and he's going to have some ups and downs. But in the next, if his, his progression continues the way it does, I think he's going to be pretty awesome. I think it could be like you got Kershaw. Or uh, you got uh, Walker Bueller and Dustin May, kind of one and two. You could put a Julio Urias if he keeps improving. He needs a little marinating too, but if his game continues, or Sandy Koufax, you know, Julio Urias can be in that third spot. You know, maybe put like a Mitchell White 
in the back of that rotation. Ross Stripling or something like that could be in the back of that rotation. I mean, that's a, that's a great rotation there. I'll take it. You know, you can can always add a, like a veteran pitcher. Right there, maybe eventually they'll be they'll have to be a Kershaw replacement, unfortunately. So if like Walker, Bueller, Dustin May in their prime, and another pitcher in there, woo, that could be great. Trey Turner, to ninety nine. There's Dustin May right there. There he is. Right, and October's important too. Yeah, the Do Dodgers need to get over that hump. This is for TJ and the Nationals, the Green Wave. And Rogelio Armenteros for Matthew and the Astros, Matt D. All right, three more boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing on that? Are we going to do that that last NT tonight? No, it looks like no. Still one spot left. All right. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Got about another 20 minutes or so to go. 15, 20 minutes, almost there. To last box. Good luck, Bruce R. Greater. All I love too. There's Austin Nola, Aaron's brother. One thirty-eight out of one fifty. For the Mariners, that'll go to Mark Bissett. I wonder if they if they now it's his rookie year. I wonder if they've ever faced each other. There's Gavin Lux. We we're just talking about him. It's a tiny autograph there, Brian Abreu. We got to work on that in the off season. That goes to uh, Matthew D. With that, it's kind of just just has to use the canvas a little bit more. Nolan Ryan, die cut, and Aristides Aquino Refractor, EA. I still believe in this kid, too. I think in a shortened season, maybe they don't want to rush and they want to let him marinate a little bit more, but it was a little surprising that it was a little surprising that he was, uh, he didn't make the major league team, but maybe they're just letting him marinate for next year. Who's 20? Is Aquino 26? Ooh. 
I feel the coolness of a printing plate on the back of my hand. Ooh. That is, that is nice. That's refreshing. There's a Nico Horner, Refractor, Brandon Belt, Negative, Corey Seeger, and an Eloy Jimenez. And the plate, this is a one of one. It's a train whistle. No ink. No ink. It's a national player? Yeah, it's Patrick Corbin. One of one printing plate for TJ and the Washington Nationals. There you go, TJ. Wish it had ink on it, but... There you go, train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There you go. Yeah, this is a little different, right? The, the, the Nico is a photo variation. That's Cubs, Peter Elias. And we've got uh, Robert Duger. That is for Barry Roberts and the Marlins. And Michael Baez, rookie auto for the Padres. Coppola with that. 45 out of 499. Aaron Judge has been playing some good, some good baseball. I feel like the Jordan rookie auto should have qualified for the Big Hit. Big Hit Express is out of fives and under. Strictly based off of the the short printedness of the card, not necessarily the quality of the card. Then it gets weird. Then people are just like, then everyone thinks everyone should everything should be a train whistle. This Kyle Lewis should get a train whistle. He's been raking, and then I'll be doing train whistles all the time. I, I had to make a rule somewhere five six years ago. There's Ichiro die cut. It was a nice Jordan Alvarez auto, though. We got Jose Rodriguez for the Halos. Uh, that's uh, that's Matthew. There you go, Matt. Another one for the, your other team. I don't know much about him, but there he is. Angels do need to improve on that pitching. The Matt Tice to 150. Yes, Chrome does have Topps Chrome does have vet autos, but they're, they're not terribly common. That wasn't gold, was it? Jeff Samarja? No, it wasn't. That's uh, Gavin Lux, Prism Refractor. Greg. Alright, two boxes to go. Oh, poor Hunter Pence, even though he's a dirty giant. Lost a fly ball in, like, the, the dusky night sky of Los Angeles. And he had, he had a ball just land 30 feet behind him. Non-pandemic time, man, Hunter Pence would have heard it all game. He would have heard it from the uh, left field fans all game. Got 
he got bailed out by the pandemic. All right, here we go. Onwards, more Jordan. And a Randy Arozarena, rookie autograph. He's got a great auto. Look at that. Cardinals, John McCall with the Redbirds, one of his last bought Mojo teams, 87 out of 150. Blue wave on that one. There's Kyle Lewis, 85. M's, another Jordan. How's he been doing? I, I haven't really heard anyone talk about Jordan Alvarez this season, but he can go off at any time. Jordan Alvarez. Freshman Flash, Luis Robert. That goes to Matthew Shearer. That's how he says it. Luis Robert. From the, from the man himself. That's what he said. We got Sandy Koufax die cut for the Dodgers. We've got behind Jordan Yamamoto a pirate, James Captain Marvel. Pittsburgh Pirates, Eric J with the Buckos. Look at that. Remember remember that year of card? Tops baseball. Nineteen eighty eighty something on that one. It's Bo Bichette. Eighty eight? Eighty seven? So is your Barrios to two ninety nine. It's Ken Griffey Jr., Mariners relic. That is for Mark Bissett. There you go. Kind of hard to grab the number there in the sliding. 18 out of 99 on that one. Nice. There it is. Nice retro card there. I dig that. Freshman Flash, Jordan Alvarez. And another Randy Otto Zarenia autograph for John McCall. Guess you're starting your Randy Otto Zarenia PC, whether you intended to or not. And we've got Jonathan Hernandez for the Rangers. That's going to be received lock. Babe, Babe Ruth die cut. That's for the Yankees. That'll go to Eric Crow. Oh, sorry. That was, better not be an auto. Okay. Just throwing cards around. Uh, 
Luis Robert, and an Abraham Toro gold wave. 29 out of 50. That card is gold. Nice gold for Matthew D. I want the gold. Give me the gold. I want to know where the gold's at. It's going to rip me a backhoe and uproot that tree. Luis Robert. And we've got behind Trey Turner is Anthony K. Blue Jays, that's going to be Nick to Kramer with the Bluebirds. I'm a bluebird, bluebird, bluebird. All right, and the final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Last box. Pick your team five, eight box jumbo, brand new 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball. Thanks everyone for filling this one up. We didn't need a filler for this. No mini break, no filler break. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Final five autographs. Good luck. First one is Lewis Thorpe, Brandon Morocco with the Twins. There you go. 129 out of 250 on that purple parallel. That's the first auto of five. Another Kyle Lewis. Freshman, freshman flash, Nico Harner. Cubs. Alex Rodriguez, Rangers, die cut. And uh, Aristides Aquino, 85. And Adbert Alzale, Peter Elias with the Cubs. That's two out of five. And Eugenio Suarez for EA, one of those negative photo refractor parallels. All right, we only have two, so three more autos in this stack here. That's what we should expect on average. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Matt Didier, Jordan Alvarez, orange in the 85 retro and autograph. I told you I'd find another one. I told you. We'll, we'll send that other one too, but 
Here's a better one. Yeah, I got some little bit of top loader dust in there, but let me fix that. All right, there you go. 22 out of 25 on that 1985 design right there. Nice one. Yeah, Ricky thinks Astros won the case. I don't know. We're going to do a recap in a second. We'll, we'll find out. And we've got a Tiger, our fourth of the five autographs. Willie Castro, Steve Locke. Aquino, another printing plate. There's Johnny Bench. Wow, two printing plates in this case, and that is going to be Austin Nola. We saw his autograph earlier, and now there's the plate for Mark and the M's. Mark, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo woo. Should be one more autograph. What what it's gonna be? There's another eighty five right there. There we go. Ooh, Ryan S. I don't think so, I'm afraid. Not sure if I called your number out too often, Ryan S. Yeah, that Kyle Lewis was was crazy. Anthony K to ninety nine. Blue Jays, ten out of ninety nine. We got. We should have our, another autograph, right? There it is, Seth Brown. Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely daughter. It goes to, remember Herman and the Hermits? Seth Brown, Oakland A's, Eric J. And there's Bo Bichette. Remember when that single came out, listening on my transistor radio when I was a wee lad. There's Bo Bichette, Refractor, and that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging with me. There you go. And there you have it. Here is the recap. Did the Astros win the break? A lot of robbery. Yeah, maybe they did. Gold Shimmer. Mariners, I feel like, did okay, too. Because all those Kyle Lewises will add up. Yeah, maybe they did. Some Tigers in there, too. I think Rays did okay. They got a couple Brendan McKays. Blue Jays got some autographs in there. They lined up some autos. Reds got that Aquino. It wasn't too bad for them either. Cubs had a decent break. And there's another Brendan McKay at the beginning. There you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was 8-Box Jumbo. Pick your team number 5. Brand new 2020 Tops Chrome Baseball. Keep your eye out on the website for more. And um, I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.